Yo, what's going on? I am Ballistic, Ballistic Beats, Ballistic Productions, back with another one. And today I'm going back into FL Studio, but I'm also gonna add this NPC live inside of FL Studio. For anybody that wanted to know, can you use FL Studio and the NPC together? The answer is yes you can and i'm gonna show you how to do that right here let's get right to it so i got my npc live in uh controller mode right now um i'm not gonna pull it up just yet i'm gonna start fl studio just like i would any other time um of course get like the base of a melody going and all that And this may be dope or maybe something simple. I'm just uh, gonna make something for tutorial purposes. So that's always good. All right, so say that's all I wanted to do for the melody. You can always revisit it later if you want to, but um, so now I'm going to go like I'm opening another plugin and I have the NPC here as a plugin. So have that open up. It should connect everything here. There we go. And the cool thing is I can go through and use the controls on here just like I would in standalone mode. So let me add a sound here. I'm going to go to my kit. My uh, Elixir drum kit will be out soon. I might add a few things or take away a few things. It's in, it's in beta mode right now. All right, let's go with that. Now I'll put it on this pad. But the dope thing is uh, when you're in Fruity Loops, I haven't tried it with Ableton. I'm sure it's probably similar because it's just it's the same plugin. But I can also go in my control or my uh, browser here. I'll just put a spins on it. Um, you can drag that to whatever pad you want to. I thought that was cool because I've done this a few times. I didn't even know. You can just do that like that. So that's what's up with that. And it's actually quicker than going through the NPC browser. So let me get a few more drums this way. And I always put my same types of sounds on the same pads as much as possible. I just got in the habit of doing it. You can put yours wherever you want. You might want to start here or at the top. I think it's a matter of preference. And once I started doing it for a while, I always put everything in the same spot because I know where the sounds are, whether it's a hi-hat, a clap, snare, kick, a 808, a perk sound. Even if it's different perk sounds, I always know that, okay, these pads right here or wherever should be my perks. So I'll just go through them and get as close as possible. And if I change my tempo, you can see, and you see that I can change it here. It syncs up perfectly. I'll just go to like 144 and I'm gonna put this on four bars to match the project. And let's go from there. I'm gonna hit overdub. So when I hit play on the main DAW, it's also gonna play the NPC and since it's record armed, it's gonna be recording, so I'll be ready to go.
I'm gonna turn that 808 down a little bit. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna also show you how to get it back over there in your playlist. So let's open this back up. I'm gonna close. So I'm gonna close that channel rack. Uh, so we have the NPC, all my drums I put in one track here. To get everything on uh, one track, I'm gonna go up to the menu, edit. Go down the track and explode. That pretty much explodes that main track and puts everything on a single track. So I'll start with the kick here. If you look over here, uh, there is this little export audio thing here. You click it once, it converts everything and makes a WAV file. You can click on that, hold it, drag it over and it drops the audio version right there so you can do that for each track like i can go to the next track which is the snare do the same thing drag it over what we got next uh the clap drag that And all the tempo info and everything is still there. That's there because I had the uh, tail selected, but um, I can just cut that off. And I will play just that right now. So I'm gonna mute the main NPC track and play the playlist in song mode. Can move my sounds over from the patterns. So there you go, you can finish out the beat, arrange it however you want, and utilize the full power of FL Studio with all the effects and whatnot. With the, uh, the swing and just the punchiness of the NPC drums inside of there. So of course you can just click the drums in in FL Studio, but I feel like if you use the NPC, you kind of get the best of both worlds because there is like a different tonality or like it just hits different when it comes out of the NPC. Don't attack me on that, but it is a, it's a thing. If you use an NPC and you used FL Studio or any other doll, you will realize that they all have little nuances that uh that just kind of unique to each one of them and the npc definitely has like a snappiness or punchiness to the drums or whatever so again if you just want to switch it up or get the best of both worlds that's a good way to do it also i'm thinking about doing a giveaway and i think i'm gonna give away one of these not this one in particular but brand new so it'll either be this one with the uh the white color scheme or the all black one but uh let me know if you guys are interested in that i will announce everything and how to do it in my next video so please subscribe if you haven't already and if you haven't already without the contest go ahead and subscribe anyway because i got a lot of different stuff coming uh let me know what you think if this helped you out if there's anything else you have questions on or want to see Hit me in the comments for that. I try to respond to everybody. And uh, I appreciate everybody for helping me grow and looking forward to uh, some more dope stuff with y'all. So until next time, hold it down.